Story of the Crane Wife, Suru no Angeshi Once upon a time, a young man lived alone in a shabby house in a village. One morning, the young man went out to mow the lawn and saw a crane stuck in the tall grass, trying to flap its wings to escape. The young man felt sorry for the crane, so he carefully cut the grass, removed the crane's leg and released it. The crane happily circled a few times above the boy's head and then flew away. That evening, the young man heard a knock on his door. He opened the door and saw a beautiful girl standing in front of him. The girl said, I'm lost and it's dark, please let me sleep tonight. The kind young man said, Okay, please come in. But the next day, and the next day, the girl didn't seem to want to go home. She cooked, cleaned the house and then proposed, Please let me be your wife. The young man was surprised. You see, I live in such poverty. I don't even have enough to eat on my own. How dare I accept someone like you as my wife? But the girl still insisted, It's okay to be poor. Let me be your wife. Hearing that, the boy happily took the girl as his wife. The two of them lived happily together. It turned to winter, snow began to fall, the wife said to her husband, I want to weave fabric, please prepare a room for me. The husband managed to prepare a weaving room for his wife. When the room was completed, the wife said, Promise me that when I weave, you will not look in. Saying that, she entered the room, and from inside came the clicking sound of the loom. At night, she did not stop weaving, so her husband went to bed first. The next morning, the wife gave her husband a beautiful cloth, never seen before, and said, Take this to the market to sell. The husband immediately took the cloth to the market and sold it for thousands of tails. For the first time in his life, he held such a large amount of money in his hand, so he was extremely happy and quickly returned home. The wife saw her husband so happy and immediately said, I will weave another piece, remember not to look into the room. Having said that, she went back into the weaving room and the clacking sound of the loom rang out again. The husband kept his promise and did not look into the room, but he thought, I didn't buy any yarn for her, how could he weave such a beautiful fabric? Then he couldn't help but peeked in. Inside the weaving room is a crane. The crane is plucking every feather from its wings to weave fabric. After that, the wife walked out of the room and said, I am the crane that you saved. I intended to finish weaving the unfinished cloth, but you peeped on me so I couldn't continue. As soon as she finished speaking, the wife suddenly turned into a crane, flying into the snowy winter sky. It circled three times around her husband's head as a thank you and then disappeared behind the distant mountains, never to return. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.